Which one do I use? Which one do I use? I don't know. I can't choose. Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. I do truly appreciate it. But today is a great day for me, so far anyway. But I got a big box in the mailbox. There's stuff in it. There's books in there. There's slip cases in there. All kind of cool things that I've been looking forward to. I got to get that mother open and get that stuff out. And uh, it comes from one of my absolute favorite publishers, Walk in God's Green Earth. That's SST Publications. Paul Fry in the United Kingdom pumps out amazing stuff from amazing authors at amazing prices and with amazing customer service. High quality books, great service. I cannot say enough great things about this company and this fella. But what I've got here is actually three separate purchases all bundled in the one big box and shipped my way. And like I said, I've got a variety of things from a couple of different authors. So what I'm going to show you now is a book that I got in the mail from SST from an author named Grady Hendricks, an author that I've uh, become very fond of. I've, I stumbled into SST publications a few years ago, and it was, it was Joe R. Lansdale books that got me there. I had never heard of the publisher until I found out that a, a Joe Lansdale collection was being published, and then there were more, and then I went on the website and found out, hey, they publish other Joe Lansdale books, and then I stumbled into some other authors that they published, and that's how I, that's how I got in there. That's how I became a big fan. So I said that I was opening multiple things from multiple authors. And what I'm gonna show you right now is a book by Grady Hendrix. And do you wanna know something interesting? I already opened this, I already unboxed it. And then I noticed after I talked for a while that my camera went dim. And I thought, what's going on here? I wasn't recording it, so the box is empty. It's already been unboxed. The book has already been out. I've unwrapped it, I've unfolded it, I've taken it out and I've talked about it. But I'm gonna do it again. Probably not as good, but it wasn't very good the first time, so it won't really matter. But this is a Grady Hendrix book. It is the Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires. It is illustrated by Reiko Murakami. And this book I got in a bundle. It was a four book bundle that I bought back in June of 2021. And the price for the four book bundle was $213 and nine cents delivered. That's delivered from the United Kingdom to Central Florida. So not a bad deal for four books. And in that set, I ended up getting Horror Store, which was a book that I read. First book I read of Grady Hendrix, and I loved it. I need to read that one again, I think. But then the next one was My Best Friend's Exorcism, which is probably my favorite of the three Grady Hendrix books that I've read. I love that book. And then, find, then, uh, then we got We Sold Our Souls. I've shown you all three of these books. We Sold Our Souls, which I also have read. And then this is the fourth and final book in that four-book bundle, even though I've got another one here, The Final Girl Support Group, which I bought separately. But this is the fourth book in that four-book bundle featuring Reiko Murakami artwork, and it looks so good. It's going to look so good on my shelf, and I am glad to be able to have it. SST Publications will start is one of my absolute favorite publishers walking God's green earth. Not only do you get great quality books, which we'll show you one right here, with an excellent artwork from some of the best illustrators out there, but they're books by some of the best authors out there. Authors like Joe R. Lansdale, Stephen Graham Jones, Grady Hendricks, Robert R. McCammon, and the, but wait, there's more, Bentley Little. There's all sorts of authors. I can't think of them all at the moment, but so many authors, and the price is amazing. So Paul Fry at SST Publications is doing something that's unbelievable. For this money, there's, there are big time publishers out there, popular well-known publishers that make books that aren't this good, that don't have this much stuff buried in them for three or four times the price. Just saying. <laughs> anyway, doing great work over there. And Grady Hendrix is an author that I've grown to love. I said I've read three books of his, 
I met the guy uh, earlier this year in Birmingham, Alabama at a launch party for uh, How to Sell a Haunted House. And uh, not only did he spend probably an hour going doing his own little show, it was so entertaining. And both before and after the show, he spent a lot of time signing books and meeting people. So he didn't sit behind a table, have you walk up and say, hey, what's your name? Sign it for you, thank you, smile for a picture. He was standing up on a stage. He had a table in front of him, and he talked and shook hands with every single person that walked up there. Shook hands with every single person, chatted with them slightly, got uh, signed whatever books they wanted. Not only that, but he would have these stamps laid out and all these different colored markers and pens. So when, when people would lay down a book, he would grab the right color of a marker to show up on the page he was going to sign. He would take an appropriate stamp that was designated for that book or that story, and he would often add a little doodle to each one. So I had a bunch of books signed, and each one he went through this different little set of things to make sure it was just right for my book. On top of that, he talked, he smiled, he gave you your time. He wasn't saying, move on, move on, move on. He wasn't checking the line or checking his watch. Great guy and a great author. So he's uh, one cool dude. He's OCD, one cool dude. How's that sound? But let me take this Reiko Murakami dust jacket off for a sec and show you what she looked like stretched out. When you stretch them all out, they do look good. And I, li I love this cover artwork because it looks so real. It looks like a scene from a movie from the, I'd say, maybe the late 70s or early 80s, the color and all that kind of stuff. But it's not. It's art. It's not photography. I don't know painting, whatever. I don't know how he did it. It's not photography, although it kind of looks like that. Now let me break out this book. So SST Publications, as always, or as almost always, quality cloth covered boards, foil stamping on the spine and on the cover. And this title is a mouthful and it does look good. Two colors on the front, two colors on the spine. Well, you take a look at the Smith's own binding and the colored in bands, every part of this book just looks good. And then it's chock full of illustrations. Uh, you, know, you got the colored in papers. And before I go any farther, I wanna show you one of the things I come for, because to me, signed is better. This is a signed limited edition. And this signature page is just full of stuff. So much cool stuff here. But mine is copy number 175 of 400 copies. And it is signed by Grady Hendrix. And just pause and let's take a look at this signature page because sometimes on these things there's hidden stuff that you don't see right away. They just don't jump out at you. But it is signed by Grady Hendrix. And it's got all this other kind of stuff on there. And who signed, who endorsed that check? It's been so long since I signed the check. Who endorsed this check? <clears throat> so I think that is Reiko Mirakami. It looks like it. Sure is. Reiko Murakami signed that check for me, and Grady Hendrix signed our permission form. I don't know who signed the shopping list, but we got to get stakes, bat, nails, hammer, weapons, knife, saws, buckets, blue sheets, gloves, change of clothes for cleaning, all sorts of cool stuff on here. Take, uh, take one more again. Take another look. It's just chock full of stuff, all kind of cool things on a signature page. You see how SST doesn't half-ass it. They put so much work and love and effort into giving us great books at a price that is just unbelievable, man. And I'm going to go through here and show you, hopefully I'll find it all, the interior illustrations. Because when SST says the book is illustrated, when they say interior illustrations, they don't just mean it's got illustrations on a signature page or end papers with some sort of an art or chapter headings that have some scroll on it. They mean interior illustrations. Pictures in the book, art in the book. And there we go, we're taking a look at this Reiko Murakami artwork in here. And uh, man, it looks good. And I said, I have, I've read those three books that I told you before. Those are the only three Grady Hendrix books that I've read thus far, but there's a handful that are on the list the list of books, what got to be read by Grady Hendrix. So I've got I've got some catching up to do with Grady Hendrix, but I got a lot of catching up to do with a lot of people. So you can only read, I can only read so much with life. 
going on, but I try to read every day and slowly but surely I'm knocking books off the list. The problem is you knock books off the list, but you keep adding books on the other end of the list. So hey, I will die long before I get all these books read on my list. But taking a look here at this artwork, it just looks so great. I have never been disappointed in a book from SST Publications. I've never gotten a book from SST Publications where I wasn't so impressed with what I got for what I paid. You can stack this book up quality-wise against any similarly published book and it will compare favorably, but it will be much cheaper. So that's all I can really say in, the, in regards to that. But a great, great, another great addition to the Grady Hendrix collection. SST has done it right as always. And I am truly thankful for all those involved. And with that being said, I can think of no more lies to tell. So thank you for your time. I do truly appreciate it. Say la vie, baby. Do do. Hey, Lindsay, I want to do one of those videos where people are reading books in exotic locations to kind of show off on the internet. All right? It's recording right video. now. Oh, okay. Good, good, good. Oh, wait. The Invisible Man by H.G. Wells. The movie truly is better than the book. I love reading in nature.